so this is where we left it in our last video. I've shown you the formula. I've annotated the formula. Now, if you haven't taken those notes yet, why not take those notes? Um, now I'm going to get rid of all of those little labels and then I'm going to do the maths underneath. Actually, maybe we'll keep the labels. Let's keep the labels. Okay, so I'm going to do the maths now. The probability of X, they're, they're the number of successes. So the number of successes are two. The probability of two successes from N trials, from seven trials, if the probability of success on a single throw, remember we're playing basketball here, is 0 0.3. So you're going to get exactly 2 out of 7. Exactly 2 out of 7. Let's just use a comma there. And the probability of success on each individual one is 0 0.3. Then we need to do NCR. We need to, do, we need to figure out the combinations. And we can do that from Pascal's triangle. Just one moment. Okay, here's Pascal tri Pascal's triangle on the right-hand side. Zero row, one row, two row, three row. Oh, sorry, I'll do it the other side. Zero row, one row, two row, three row, four row, five row, six row. This is the seventh row here. Okay, so because we're doing seven trials, we need to be in the seventh row. And then this is the probability of zero success. Sorry, the combinations for zero successes. Combination for one success, combination for two successes. Okay, so there are 21 different ways that these can be arranged so that you get exactly two baskets. You might get two here, the first two right, and the fifth, the other five you miss. You might get this one right, miss this one, and get this one, and miss all those. There's 21 different ways that you can do it. Times the probability of success. The probability of succeeding in this game is 0 0.3 to the power of number of successes, to the power of number of successes. We want to have succeed twice to the power of 2 times Q. That's the probability of failure. Okay, so Q is the probability of failure, so that's 0 0.7. We know that the probability of failure is 0 0.7 because it's the complement of whatever the probability of success is. Finally, n minus x. Don't worry about n minus x. What it means is number of failures. And the number of failures is going to be, well, if you have two successes and you have seven trials, then the number of failures is going to be 7 minus 2, 5. That's all of the working you need to show. So you need to show Pascal's triangle here, you need to write that out, and then you pick up your calculator, you type it all in, and an answer pops out. Okay, and the answer that pops out is uh, 0 0.31765. Now, we can probably express that as a percentage. If I give you seven shots at a basket, there is a 31.77%, I'm just rounding there, there is a 31.77% chance that you will get exactly two in the basket. Okay, that's the binomial probability, there's our worked example. Make sure now that you've watched the video, even if you don't get it, give a question a crack and then come and talk to me and say, I don't get it. This is tough stuff, so we need to sort of practice it. Practice. See you guys.